Team Russia made it to the World Championship playoff round with a perfect record, poising as the biggest contender for gold medals. Their first playoff opponent was Team France, the same Team France that shocked the hockey world last year, beating Russia on the 9th of May. Team France had 17 returnees from last year. We didn't feel nervous at all, says Team Russia forward Artem Anisimov. We knew what we had to do. We knew we had to play the way we did in round robin, and it worked for us. Once again, Team Russia played a solid game, seizing the momentum right away. They controlled the game and were obviously the better team. Playoff hockey is very different, says defenseman Igor Yakovlev. The key to winning here is the right attitude, and we had taken care of that. It was a good game for us. We're gonna play the best team from the other pool, says goalie Sergei Bobrovsky. We gotta keep up the way we were playing, stand for one another, and everything is going to be okay. Russia had to play the winner of the quarterfinal game between Sweden and Belarus. Team Belarus has made it to the playoffs for the first time in five years and they got really close to repeating the upset they pulled off 12 years ago. However, this time they weren't that lucky. Team Sweden had a hard time getting to the semi-final, but that didn't mean Russia was going to have a walk in the park. Just 19 seconds into the opening frame, Sweden got on the board. I think we were a little too nervous before the game, says Sergei Shiraka. We knew it was an important game, and that's probably why we didn't start the way we wanted. The entire rink was cheering for us. We knew what we had to do, so we went out there and did it. The rest of the game went more smoothly for Russia. Sergei Bobrovsky stopped every other shot he had to face and led his team to a win. The key moment of the game was when Bobrovsky scooped up the puck from the goal line, continued Shiraka. We were up 2-1 back then, and that save gave him enough confidence to play strong till the final buzzer. It's not that complicated, says Nikolai Kuliman. We allowed a quick goal, but after that we played the way we had to, and it worked for us. The quick goal didn't bring us down at all. We knew we weren't gonna let this one slip away from us when there were 10 seconds left in the third, adds Shurakov. I hope Sergei Plotnikov is gonna be alright though after that hit. We're gonna need him in the final game. I am the way I am and it's not gonna change, said head coach Alex Narok. If I were to change, that would have been bad for the team. A good game overall for Team Russia had one controversial incident between Znarok and Team Sweden assistant coach Richard Granberg. The reason for this heated argument was Mikhail Baklan's hit on Sergei Plotnikov. Plotnikov suffered an injury and that put the wheels in motion. Plotnikov's injury turned out to be a minor one, although head coach Znarok was suspended for the final game for his threatening gestures. I don't think there's going to be any problem, says Narok. They know what to do and they know how to play. The other thing is, I can't even come into the dressing room. I'm probably going to sit up in the prize box using a mic. In the second semi-final, Team Finland beat Team Czech Republic 3-0. Pat Karina got a shout-out in this one, his third of the tournament. We played well and deserved to win, says Leo Komarov. We have 16 guys in our team who never played at the World Championships before. Almost half of the team represents the Finnish league. We have a good group of guys here. The coach does his job well. All we need now is a little bit of luck.
On the final day of the tournament, the 18th AAHF Hockey Hall of Fame induction ceremony took place with seven new members being inducted. Among them, legendary defensive pairing of Team USSR Andrew Hamatov and Vyacheslav Bukov. Also, one of the best Belarus players in history, Ruslan Saleh. An iconic Canadian Steve Eisenberg was also there, along with legendary Swede Nicholas Lidstrom and others. It went as you would expect. After a short clip on the big screen, each new member went onto the stage to receive his honors. They put their national team jerseys and were given commemorative plaques. It's a great honor to be here among all these great players of the past, says Andrei Hamatov. To be honest with you, I didn't expect that the WHF would think so greatly of my hockey career. It's a pleasant surprise. Team Russia has a great team, says Leo Kamarov. I don't think we need to prepare for this game in any special way. Everybody understands it's going to be a tough game. We'll give it our best shot. We'll see what happens. It's the last game of the season, says Sergei Shirokov. We need to find strengths to get through it. I don't know where we're gonna get the strengths we need, but I don't know we'll battle real hard tomorrow. Team Finland has become the least favorite opponent for Team Russia lately. Their head coach, Erko Vesterlund, is Russia's nemesis. He was the one who led Team Finland to victory over Russia in the 2006 Olympic semi-final. A year after that, Vesterlund's team stopped Russia again in the semi-final. This time at the World Championship in Moscow. And of course it was Vesterlund who beat Russia in the quarterfinal of the 2014 Olympics this season in Sochi. It was a really tough game for us, says Viktor Tikhonov. We were trailing 2-1 during the game, but the guys never gave up. They played with their hearts on the sleeves. We tied the game, got the go-ahead goal and won the game in the end. I think we were a little nervous at first, says Shurakov. Then we calmed down and just did our job. We knew if we get the job done, we'll all get to celebrate in the end. And that's exactly what happened. If it wasn't for our coaches, we'd never be here. Finnish machines screeched to a halt in the final game. Even without Alex Narok on the bench, Team Russia managed to get a W. Moreover, if anything, it looks like Narok's suspension brought the team together, as if it gave the players some extra motivation. What was it like without Znurak? It was different, says Denis Zaripa. You could feel the team didn't have somebody to take orders from. Although his assistant did a great job. Everybody understood that we were fighting not only for ourselves or the country, but for our coach too. He's always got a special place right here, says Evgeny Bedvedev as he points to the heart. Everything that's happened to us here, all the injuries, that coach suspension, everything brought us together even more, says Tikhonov. I think we proved that we're a strong team here. Russia went to complete the perfect record. They won 10 out of 10 games, winning their fifth World Championship title. It's a very rare occurrence in any athlete's life, says Zaripov. I mean, you don't get to win a championship with both your club and your national team in one year. I just want to thank everyone who helped me achieve that. We made a lot of mistakes tonight, says Medvedev. I'm just gonna say it how it is. We were lucky they didn't capitalize on their chances. After we allowed a goal, I think we calmed down and played better. It was a tough game, especially the third period. They were all over us, but we pulled through. Coach and duo Harris Vidalich and Alex Narok won a gold medal in their first year with Team Russia. Perhaps it's the start of a new golden era for Russian hockey.
Молодцы! 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 